Hey everyone, thanks for coming back to Blue Bob's channel. I uh, just want to give you a quick recap of last night's streaming that I did. Um, I received my code yesterday from Stadia and have had the opportunity to run it through my Chrome browser using uh, both mouse and keyboard as well as a wired Xbox controller. Um, I have not received my Founders Edition controller yet, so I have not been able to actually use the Stadia hardware, but in my experience, as you can see in the video, it Destiny 2 nearly ran perfect, okay? And the reason why I say nearly is basically there were a couple times where the screen seemed to buffer for just a, for maybe just a split second. Um, and the other thing is when my wife was streaming a TV show, it, it seemed to have to buffer more. I'd run into more blurriness as I was playing. Um, I have 90 megabits down, 10 megabits up. So, and I was checking out, I was definitely using the 35 megabits um, through my Google Wi-Fi app. I was able to kind of check it out. Um, so that's the reason why I'm saying it's near perfect, okay? My Destiny 2 experience was near perfect. The game buying, okay, if you looked at the video, I was talking, and if you listened to me talk, I basically buy the game, and in under three seconds, it's in my digital library, I click on it, and I can play, okay? And I was able to try out Guilt, and let me tell you, Guilt is exhilaratingly creepy, okay? It's a very intense game. I thankfully had a, a viewer request that I go back to Destiny, you know, for my sake, but it is a very intense and exciting game, and I definitely recommend for all Stadia users to pick it up, just again, to support the Stadia exclusive developer, as well as it is a very entertaining game. So, all in all, very satisfied with the Stadia product. Very, very satisfied with it. Um, I would say if, if all we were promised was these capabilities, I would, I would give the them 9 out of 10 okay and again the reason why I don't give them a 10 out of 10 is because of the whole buffering when someone else is on the Wi-Fi which again we were promised and also I've had heard others having different experiences with it whether through using Chromecast and keyboard and control um, keyboard and mouse or they've been using the Stadia controller through the Chromecast um, and having issues so I played on my Chrome browser through my computer and I had no issues and I had the wired controller um, mouse and keyboard didn't seem to give me any issues I'm just not that good um, with an FPS with mouse and keyboard so that's why I like to use the controller but I'm excited because there are gonna be a lot more features that Google's gonna be launching okay I'm excited for the YouTube you know the crowd play or whatever it's called um, and looking forward to the YouTube integration so that I can stream directly to YouTube super easily as well and all the others so again I'm giving a 9 out of 10 for this product I haven't even received the physical product yet but for the online stadia streaming 9 out of 10 alright guys hey thanks for cluing or thank you for listening in this is blue bobs checking in and checking out